Hello friends, welcome. In the previous video we worked with a one-to-many relationship. Also we have made one-to-one. -one. In this video I'm going to start with many-to-many -many relationship. If you go to the Laravel documentation, eloquent relationship, let's go to the many-to-many -many and to create a many-to-many -many relationship now we need three to define this relationship three database tables are needed okay so here we have an example with users roles and here we have another table a role user and this table a role user is uh, created from the alphabetical order of the model names so role which is the model for roles and user which is the for the user, the model for the user. And here we added the user ID and the role ID because in the users and roles, we don't have any relation uh, column here. Okay, so just uh, remember this table is going to be created from the alphabetical order. So role first and user after. Okay. In our case, we are going to create the relation between post and I'm going to create the tag. And here I'm going to create the post tag uh, table and this is called pivot table. Okay. So in the post we have title body and is published and also the image, but it's no problem. In the tag, I'm going to add only the name ID maybe the timestamp and I'm going to create the pivot table based on the model names. We can add another name, but because Laravel is uh, going to find based on the model's names, the post and tag, and we name it post tag because the post come first, okay, the P. Okay, let's go and Create first the model and migration for tag and after the pivot table post tag. So let's say PHP artisan make model tag dash m for migration. Good. Now let's say PHP artisan make migration. This is going to Create only the migration, only the table. And I'm going to say create post tag migration, uh, post tag table. Sorry. Okay. Now let's open the VS Code and in the database, we need to go in the migrations and down there we have the tags table and here I said I want to add only the name so I'm going to say dollar sign table uh, string and say name here let's save it close this one and now we have the post tag pivot table here we need to make the relationship we don't need the ID here and also I'm going to remove the timestamp and just I'm going to say dollar sign table here and add the origin ID for the user ID and say constraint and uh, in the comments here I think yeah we added this on delete cascade so when we delete the post we are going to delete also the comment but uh, here I'm not going to do that. I'm not user, sorry. Post. And let's copy and duplicate that and change this to be tag. Okay, so we have post ID and the tag ID. Let's save it and let's go now and run the migration. PHP artisan migrate. 
Okay. Now to make the relationship, we need to go in the models, app models. Let's go first to the post model. And here we have the relationship method for the comments. Let's go and create now for the tags. And let's say public function, give it the name tags now in the plural. And here we are going to say return. Here we have one to many and we have as many, but because this is many to many relationship, we need to say dollar sign this belong to many. Okay, and here we need to add the related model, which is tag model. And you can see here now the table is null. If we have a different table, a different name from the ta for table, so we named the table post tag, and this is okay. The Laravel is going to find that because we named based on the Laravel uh, post and tag model. Okay, but if we named something, for example, a, a blog tag, the Laravel is not going to find that, and we need to add it here as a second parameter. So for example, a blog tag is going to be the table name. And also for origin pivot key, which means this one and the tag ID, this one. But we named based on the Laravel. So it's going to find that. Let's save this and let's go now to the tag. And here first I'm going to create the protected dollar sign fillable and say name and now create the relationship method and here also we need to say post plural and the same thing return dollar sign this belong to many post okay let's save this one and now we are ready to make a relationship between the post and the tag and that is going to be in the next video i hope you understand the many-to-many -many relationship and if you like a content like this please subscribe to my channel like the video and see you in the next video friends all the best